Josh Saltzman here with Robert's Camera. Today we are talking about yet another amazing release from Fujifilm. It is the X-H2. Let's check it out. All right, so Fuji now has two more X-H line cameras. I made a video earlier this year on the X-H2S, which if you're curious about that, can be found here maybe? I don't know. Um, and now they have the X-H2. I would say that these cameras are very similar as they're in the same line, but they have some distinct differences. The X-H2S is built more for speed. It's a 26 megapixel camera. It's great in low light, very fast autofocus, fast frame rates. The X-H2 is more of a resolution camera. For someone who wants pristine detail in every shot, photo or video, this may be the camera for you. Um, the X-H2 has a 40 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor. It can shoot 8K 30, 4K 60. It can even shoot uh, 240 frames a second in 1080. And it also has a really fantastic pixel shift mode, which shifts the sensor a little bit, taking a series of 20 images and gives you a final result of a 160 megapixel image straight out of the camera. Actually, it's not straight out of the camera. You run the pixel shift process on the Fuji X-H2 and you get your images and then you can go to a website, which I will put a link to. I'll put it on the screen and put it in the description where you can download the pixel shift combiner from Fujifilm and then in post process, you'll combine those images for 160 megapixels. It's not straight out of the camera. My mistake. I think this is, as far as I know, it's the first uh, APS-C camera that has 40 megapixels. Just a huge amount of resolution for APS-C. Of course, that has some limitations. When it comes to low light, the more pixels you have uh, in a dense area, the more you sacrifice low light handling. If you are shooting in low light a lot, maybe the X-H2S would be a better shot for you as it's 26 megapixels, but if what you want is pristine resolution, X-H2 could be your guy. First thing, when I got the camera in the hand, it feels great, feels just like the X-H2S, big grip on it, has a swivel screen, it has the uh, mode dial and a top LCD, feels really good. The shutter sound is amazing. Uh, I just, the buttery smooth shutter of it, I just, I love it. I'll play that sound right now. It shoots 15 frames a second with the mechanical shutter and up to 20 frames a second with the electronic shutter and a slight crop, I believe. Um, also, the electronic shutter can go up to 180 thousandth of a second, which is faster than I've ever shot on a camera. Super fun to play with. I took this camera to a balloon festival here in Indiana and then also used it to photograph some hummingbirds and video some hummingbirds on my front porch. I have a hummingbird feeder and that's always just a really fun, challenging subject. Puts a lot of things to the test. I did get some rolling shutter when using the electronic shutter with the super fast movement of the wings, but there are a lot of situations where that 180th of a second would really shine. Also built into this camera, one of the first things I notice when I pick it up is the stabilization immediately at work, stabilizing your shots. Um, as soon as it's engaged, you notice it, you feel it, it feels good, whether you're shooting stills or video. It's really a powerful addition to the X-Series cameras and a beautiful thing about the X-H line. Also, this camera comes fully equipped with F-Log2 from Fuji, which is a new log format. It gives you uh, 13 plus stops of dynamic range, which I'm really excited to start grading and, and be able to show that to you. I wanna say a huge thank you to Fuji for sending us this camera. Uh, this is the X-H2. If you want to get your hands on one, give us a call at the store or go to robertscamera.com. I'm Josh Saltzman. Thank you for watching this video. Leave any questions that you have in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you.